Secrets of Kwipu One of the most mysterious phenomena that existed in an odd number of dimensions. To administer the empire, the Incas had a well-developed and organized government. However, they did not have a written language, but rather they had a strange invention, a form of non-verbal communication written in a coded language similar to the binary code used by modern computers. The kipu, or kipu, in Quechua knot, was a string of thread with knots. The number of knots, the size of the knots, and the distance between the knots conveyed meaning. Each Inca king formed an elu or clan, of his descendants to preserve the memory of his deeds in traditions and songs learned by heart. Gary Orton, a professor of anthropology at Harvard University, has reanalyzed the Inca's intricate and ornate threads, decorative objects called quipu. Orton discovered that it contained a 7-bit binary code capable of transmitting more than 1,500 separate units of information. Indeed, in the 1920s, historians showed that the knots on the strings of some kipu were arranged in such a way as to make them an arithmetic storehouse, or a textural version of an abacus. The Incas never acquired the art of writing, but they did develop an elaborate system of knotted ropes called kepus. These ropes were made of alpaca or llama wool, dyed in various colors, and their importance was known to the Incas. Judges. The ropes were knotted in a decimal manner and were fastened at close intervals along the main strip of the kipos. Thus, an important message regarding the progress of crops, the amount of taxes collected or the progress of the enemy could be sent quickly by trained runners along postal routes. Unfortunately, only a few kipu arrangements survive to the present. The fact is that most copies were burned. When the Spanish conquered the Inca state, the Catholic Church ruled that the quipu were the work of Satan and therefore must be destroyed, and so the Spanish conquistadors did in the 16th century. Nearly 200 of them have been found, dating no earlier than about 650 AD, and can still be analyzed. Today, the Kipu language is considered the world's first three-dimensional language, and deciphering Inca cryptographic writing can be compared to deciphering ancient Egyptian hieroglyphs. In 2005, the American magazine Science published a sensational discovery that the Kipu system preserved not only numbers, but perhaps non-numeric data, geographical names, names, and more. Using the Kwipu system, the Incas could also perform complex calculations, which was enough to organize the economy of the entire empire. However, some believe that it was more than just a computing device. In 1996, a manuscript called Historia et Rudimenta Linguae Peruanorum appeared in Italy among the family possessions of a Neapolitan historian. 